everybody. Today we are in lesson 57 and it's titled, What Happened When David Failed to Resist Temptation? So we've been talking about how we can resist temptation, right? But we all know that now and then we fail to resist temptation. So what happened with David when that happened to him? We're reading in 2 Samuel chapter 12, verses 13 and 14. Then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan replied, The Lord has taken away your sin. You aren't going to die. But you have dared to show great disrespect for the Lord. So the son who has been born to you will die. So this is kind of a long story to go into. But um, David finds himself in a situation where he gave in to temptation and he failed. He sinned, right? And so um, a friend of his comes to him to confront him with that sin. And if you notice in verse 13, David admits, he confesses, yes, I have sinned against the Lord. He realized that he had done wrong. Now, did God say, the sin was way too big, I can't forgive you? No, he never ever does that. But instead, Nathan tells David, the Lord has taken away your sin but you will have consequences for your sin. And so I guess that's what today I want to focus in on, that we will fail. When we do fail, God is there to, to um, give us his forgiveness, but we still are going to sometimes suffer the consequences of that sin. When we have done something wrong, sometimes things happen as a result of it, even though God has forgiven us. So the very best thing, of course, is to just avoid that sin, to um, ask God to help us to resist temptation, but then to know that when we do give in, that God is there to forgive us. That's an awesome thought, isn't it? Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your forgiveness, even with with David, who was a man of God, and yet he he chose something that really caused him to have deep sin in his heart. Lord, you forgave him. Help us to remember that your forgiveness is always there for us. Help us to remember, though, too, that sometimes we'll have to suffer the consequences. So help us, Lord, to make good choices. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.